In this video, I want to do a short recap reminder of cumulative frequency. So, cumulative frequency, the word cumulative, comes from accumulate, okay? And so you're adding up as you go. Now, when you met this at GCSE, you would have had uh, a similar kind of table to this. You would have had some continuous data. So, in this case, heights. And here are frequencies. So, this is how many I have between 0 and 10. This is how many I have between 10 and 20, and so on. And what you could do is you could add on another column, and we could call this uh, cumulative frequency. Okay. And what you would do is you would just add up the column as you go. So you would have, well, you've got the 2, and then you've got 2 plus the 18, so then you'd be at 20, and then 20 plus the 40, so you'd be at 60, and then 60 plus the 22, right, that'd get me 82, and then I'd have 82 plus the 3, so I'd have 85. Okay, And so that would be your cumulative frequency. And what would happen then is that you would usually be asked to... Uh, draw a graph of this data, you'd have to plot it. So what would happen is that you would have cumulative frequency as the vertical axis and you would have the heights down on the bottom axis okay and you would see that cumul cumulative frequency would go up to 85 Okay, <clears throat> and you would then plot the points. And what would usually happen is that the curve that you would get would usually look something like this, this kind of elongated S. I haven't really drawn that that well. That probably would be what there. There's 85. Okay. And this is the way that the graph would usually look. Now, from that graph, what could you potentially be asked? Okay, so you could potentially be asked things like uh, find the median. So the median value would be looking at the halfway point, okay, the 50 50th percentile, and you would go along to the curve, you'd go straight down, and you'd read off that would be your median value. Then you would go maybe for the lower quartile, so the 25th percentile. So you go along to your curve and then straight down, and this would be the lower quartile. And then you might be asked for the upper quartile, which is the 75th percentile. So you go along to the curve and then straight down, and that would be your upper quartile. Okay? And from that, you might be asked to find the interquartile range. So the interquartile range, or the IQR, sometimes written, is the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. Okay? So this is effectively how cumulative frequency worked. And you could be asked similar questions along these lines um, using cumulative frequency curves or potentially having to plot one, okay? So these are kind of like the key concepts from GCSE about what you would have to do in each of these cases.